you are welcome once again to our youtube channel and today i want to share with you how you can make money on every high impact market news release using imbalancing secrets how you can make money on every high impact news release economic news release using imbalancing secrets most of you trade in a high impact market news release the wrong way I've made two videos before now on how how, how, it, how you can trade high impact market news release okay but this one is also this one is very special this is a special video that will help you to further understand how you can profit from the market using high impact market news release many traders avoid the high impact news releases okay because of the vol high volatility of the market when these events occur okay so but i want you to know that you don't need to be afraid i've said it in my previous video that i will link that video on how, how to trade the high impact market news release i'll link it up in my in the description box of this video so examples of high impact market news release is the cpi cpi you have uh the nfp nfp you have the f o m c okay and you have the price index and different other ones okay there are many of them so uh, in this uh, video i'll actually be showing you a special way that you can trade this release okay you don't need to be on your chart when the when the market news release when the high impact news release uh, is being done you don't really actually have to be on your chart you don't have to really have to gamble your way in trading this okay so i will actually be showing you uh, a special way that you can uh, you can use a special um, method they can use to trade it. and the method is by harnessing the principle of uh, uh, balancing balancing and imbalancing balancing and and imbalancing okay okay this principle of balancing and imbalancing can actually help you to trade high impact market news release in a profitable manner without stress and without gamble and with a high risk to reward ratio and with a higher prob high probability of your trade working out okay so i want to talk to you about this balancing and imbalancing how you can use these two principles to trade high impact market news release in a profitable manner all right so uh, that is what i that is the purpose and objective of this video so now what is actually uh balancing what's different between balancing and imbalancing okay now what is different between balancing and imbalancing balancing balancing actually refers to refers to uh, a state where demand and supply for a currency pair are equal okay I've, you know this video this uh, uh youtube channel mostly shows you how you can trade the forex market yeah, using the demand and supply principles smart money principles okay mostly though we show you other strategies but mostly we believe mostly that the market is controlled the forex market and just it's just like works like every other market okay out there all right and it's being controlled by the principles of demand and supply so balancing balancing is a a, a, a balance not just balance though balance balance is balance 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 in the forest market refers to a state where the demand and supply for a particular the demand is equals to what the supply the demand for a particular currency pair is equal to the supply there is a the demand and supplies is like in a state of equilibrium okay whether the demand and supply for a particular currency pair are equal all right so what does this mean this means that for every trader who is buying a currency pair there is another trader who wants to sell who is selling the same currency pair so that makes that's why that's why the demand is equals to the supply so there is a state of equilibrium in the market between the demand for a currency and the supply for that currency okay so when the market is in imbalance the price of a currency pair is actually relatively relatively stable so when there is a balancing, when there is a balance in a market, there is a relatively stable, stable uh, price, 
stable price okay there's a legendary stable price and the 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 price changes price changes changes in price changes in price changes in price is actually is actually uh minor okay so i'm just writing this so you can understand so there's a when there is balance in the currency pair of the market there is a stable price and the changes in price for a dark currency pair is minor and almost almost uh, consistent okay the market movement is consistent so that is that is a balance a balanced uh, market okay now on the on the flip side what is imbalance 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 of course when it's just the opposite of uh, the balance imbalance of course when when supply when supply or let's say demand when demand is not equal to supply all right when demand is not equal to supply when the demand of a currency pair is not equal to the supply of that currency pair all right so that is the demand and supply is in a, in a, is in a state of equilibrium uh, in equilibrium okay that is they are not the same they are not they are not uh, uh constant okay for well, for every trader that wants to buy there is no uh, there is no enough equivalent uh supply for that currency pair at that particular point in time so this imbalancing actually uh the, the imbalancing can be caused by several factors imbalancing can be caused by several factors including uh economic economic uh data release data release just like uh, uh, uh just like high impact uh, high impact news release okay just like a high impact news release geographical uh, geo ge geopolitical geopolitical event political geopolitical event okay so geopolitical event uh, market sentiments market sentiments too can also cause imbalance in the market so these three things can cause imbalance economic data release geopolitical uh, geopolitical uh, event and also you can have market market sentiment market sentiment okay market sentiment can also can also cause uh, this this situation okay market sentiment can also cause this uh, uh, this actually this imbalance so when there is an imbalance in the market the price of a currency pair can experience significant swings swings significant significant swings in the market so imbalancing can can lead to significant uh, swings in the market imbalancing can lead to significant swings in the in the market all right so it can lead to significant swings in the market because the reason is because it's the, as the traders will try to respond to the changing market uh, condition okay the traders would like to they would like to respond swiftly to this changing market condition all right so now i want you to know that some traders that call it imbalancing is also the same uh, imbalance and imbalance market an imbalance market can also which we which we we can designate by a uh, imbalance imb imbalance can also be be designated by some people call it fair value gap ict traders call it fair value gap fair value gap which is f v g okay so imbalancing can also be called fair value gap or f v g so i want to i will show you a simple scenario of imbalance a simple scenario of imbalance between candles i'll show you a simple scenario of imbalance between between candles now you can see in this case you can see in this scenario you can actually see in this uh in in this scenario sorry you can see in this scenario that this candle this candle okay let's uh let's begin from this is a this is a bullish uh this is a bullish uh, candle 
this is a bullish candle now this is another candle you see the size of this candle small this one came up so fast big large long uh, bullish long bullish candle followed by this candle all right so the, you can actually spot an imbalance here here the market was the market was actually moving in a sideways uh, movement and now all of a sudden it spiked up okay and now continued to move in a in this form this is what actually happened right here i'll show you this is what actually happened the market was moving like this sideways this is in a balanced state and now there is an imbalance that occurred and now the market now balanced okay so this is this is a balanced state okay condition here the market was this is a balance balance condition now this is an imbalance imbalance or fair value gap before the another balance and the market continued all right so you that is what you can see right here this is what happened right here this is what happened right here okay so now this is the imbalance this candle the week here the distance between the week between the the first uh the week of the of the first candle that before the imbalance candle this is the imbalance candle this is the imbalance candle so this is the fair value gap or imbalance fair value gap or imbalance okay so this is the fair value gap or imbalance so the different distance between the week of of the candle before the imbalance candle this is the imbalance this is the imbalance candle so the distance between the the, the week of the the candle before the imbalance candle and the week of the candle after the imbalance candle gives you your your imbalance or the imbalance or the fair value gap I don't know if that is clear. I don't know if that is clear for you. So now let this is a, this is the bullish scenario. This is the bullish. This is the bullish uh, imbalance scenario. Imbalance or FVG scenario. So let us see the the bearish uh, FVG or imbalance uh, scenario. All right. So let us see the bearish uh, bearish one. So as you can see in this case now that the market the bearish scenario is like this is a balanced market all of a sudden we have a spike down okay we have a spike down a, a form of imbalance and now the market will now rebalance itself here okay so you can see it here the market was in a state of uh, balance all of a sudden spike down before it's rebalanced before it balanced itself okay so this is a, a, a bearish scenario of imbalance this is imbalance this is imbalance or fvg okay this is imbalance or f v g all right so at this point now i want to show you now how you can use the principle of imbalance balance and imbalance into trade high impact market news release how you can use the principle of balancing and imbalance into trade the high impact market news release so let me just give you a, a sketch of what we are looking for all right this is it now you 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 discover that when there is a high impact market news release this is what actually happens the market could be like this trading in normal way and all of a sudden there is a high economic release you have you have that you discover that there's going to be a spike right up here there's going to be a spike which is our imbalance but it is expected that this is the imbalance move okay this is the imbalance move okay it uses an impulsive impulsive imbalance uh, move impulsive move so the market is supposed to do what rebalance itself it's supposed to balance itself and come down come down to the the same level that it's it is it spiked from okay so it's the market is also come down to the same level which it spikes from. So in a, when a, when a, when a, this is when a, 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 a high impact news is being released, this is a high impact news impulse. We don't enter here. Mostly most people enter here, or they want to use what is called the straddle strategy. They want to enter catch the first move. We don't actually want to catch the first move when there is a, a high impact market news release. We want to actually trade the correction or the rebalancing of the move. Okay, your aim. The, the safest way to the safest way to trade 
balancing and the, the safest way to trade high impact market news release is to wait for this correctional phase okay to wait for the correctional phase or the re, it's called the rebalancing phase of the market because what when there is a high impact market news release there's going to be an impulsive move don't that is not your trade if you want to catch that move you could you could you could you could burn your fingers all right you could blow your account most traders i've seen traders that blew their account several times because they want to catch the high impact market news release move so but that is not the right that is not the, the best way to trade the high impact market news release that are traders that trade it they call it the strategy strategy but if you want to trade the high impact market news release in a safe way you have to trade it the, the balancing method balance and imbalancing method all right so that is how you're going to trade so this is actually your trade okay this is your trade let's uh, draw it again the market was in a state of equilibrium or balanced state and now the news is being released there's going to be a spike up so you actually don't enter here you don't enter here because the market could actually come down or go up okay or go up so you just wait let there be a correctional phase and you trade the rebalancing you trade this is your trade this is your trade this is your entry this is your entry and this is your your take profit okay this is your tp take profit this is your stop loss okay this is going to be your stop loss so you're going to you're going to target the the position the takeoff point okay the takeoff point of the of of, of price when the when the the news was released so this is your entry this is your stop loss and this is your take profit that is not all i'm going to show you the right way to trade the smc way the smart money way okay this is not just like this and entirely i'm just giving you a sketch a, pre, a preliminary sketch of how this works okay now let's look at the bearish scenario no sorry the bullish scenario this is the bearish scenario let's look at the bullish scenario the market news the market is is would be like in a state of uh okay let's have it this way the market is in, is in this state and now the news is being released you have that there's going to be a spike and when the spike occur you wait this is not your trade this is not your trade Okay, this is not your trade. This is not your trade. So you wait for a correction. And now you trade the rebalancing. You trade the rebalancing. This is your entry. Entry and this is your take profit. And your stop loss will be somewhere around here. All right. So but the question, the question, the one million dollar question now is how do you know that the market has finished the, the, the correctional phase before you enter? So that is what i want to point out to you now how do you know how do you know so i want to i want to state three ways how to trade the balancing how how to trade the steps to take okay let's uh, have it this way steps steps to take when you are trading the balancing the high impact news releasing release method using the rebalancing method number one is to wait wait for news release okay two you wait for the market wait for news release and wait for the market uh, to have the swing the, the 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 impulsive wait for the impulsive move okay wait for the impulsive move or the imbalance move okay the imbalance move okay you have to wait for the impulsive move or imbalance move number three is to identify identify possible start of of the rebalancing okay possible start of rebalancing you can have this possible start of rebalancing by if you know what is called the break of structure change of of character okay i've made a separate video on break of structure change of character so you have to wait for a break of structure after the impulsive move before you now you now wait for what is called so called the return to other block just the same way you trade return to other block rto return to other block okay you're going to wait for this to occur before you now know that the market has decided to reverse because actually you are trading you're actually trading the reversal of the impulsive move of the high impact market news release okay you are trading the reversal of the impulsive move, the correctional phase or rebalancing of the impulsive move of the high impact market news 
release this is the, actually the strategy so the 14 when you have identified this when you identify this you now trade the rebalancing okay you trade the rebalancing and i'll show you where to take your entry and where to take your your take your profit and your where you place your stop loss now let me show you the smart money pattern the smart money sketch of how to trade the high impact market news release by the rebalancing method let me show you the smart money sketch this is it actually you have market like this in a balanced state you have the high impact uh, news release which is the news driven this is called the news the news driven news driven news driven impulse okay this is the news driven impulse okay impulse news driven impulse sorry let's uh, write it well impulse okay this is the news driven impulse so you now wait for a correctional phase but you're not just entering after the correction you are wait, going to wait for some sort of uh, some sort of break of structure this is a break of structure okay some sort of break of structure okay this is this is a structural break this is a structural break okay you're going to wait for this structural break to occur okay you wait for the structural break to occur you now wait for the return to other block okay this is your bos break of structure you wait for a return to other block and you enter the trade you take your trade right from there okay this is your entry this is your entry so you are targeting this you are targeting this stock take profit and your stop loss will be somewhere somewhere around here i i don't know if that is clear so your stop loss is somewhere around there so this is the smart money way of trading this is the rebalancing this is the rebalancing rebalancing move okay so that is the rebalancing move after after this uh, news driven impulse after the news driven impulse okay that is how to trade it and i'm going to show you short examples all right so now let us see the this is the bearish uh, setup this is the bearish uh, sketch of this uh, setup so let us see the bullish sketch so the bullish sketch is going to look like this the bullish sketch is going to look like this you're having uh the market move in a sideways or a normal uh, balance condition and now you have an impulsive move okay caused by economic uh, economic uh, this is an imbalance or fvg okay caused by the release of the data of the data or economic data so you're going to actually wait from some sort of break of structure this is a break of structure break of structure and uh, now you're going to wait for for return to other block and now you take your trade you take your trade stop loss somewhere around here your entry somewhere around here and your tp should be just where your tp should be just where the 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 impulsive move started from before the news release all right so this is actually the sketch so now let us see let us see chart examples let us see chart examples of this okay let's see some short examples of this uh, of this strategy okay like you can see here now in this case now there the this is an impulsive move the market was in this position there was an impulsive move right here all right this is like the news release i think this is uh the uh, this should be the the nfp news uh, release uh for the month of april all right the nfp news release so you as you can see at this point as you can see at this point uh there was actually a break of structure after the news release was here there was a break of structure and when the break of structure occurred we this is the candle that broke the structure all right so we actually waited for some sort of uh return some sort of return to other block which is right which is right here here and there was a break of structure and there was return to other block and we got into the trade right here and you make your profit okay so let us see other example this is a very scenario let's see other example it occurs in different forms but they are similar 
okay let's see if we can see other okay this is another example this is actually this is actually like the bullish uh, scenario sorry yeah, the bullish scenario that was a form of imbalance imbalance move and there was a break of structure right here and there was a return to other block and you take the trade like this so this is actually your tp because this is actually the this is your tp although the market continued to move so this is your stop loss and this is this is what actually your your entry all right so this is this is it for the bullish move so let us see other examples let's see other examples of this uh, of this strategy let's see other example like you can see here also in this case there was a move and there was a, a correctional phase and the market actually sold to the position of the initial point where the move uh, started from all right so that is actually this okay let's see if there are other examples when you, i want you to go to your chart i want you to go to your chart after this uh, video and, and look for it please before i continue please kindly subscribe to our channel if you're here to subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel smash the like button like smash the like button so as to help the algorithm so as to help the algorithm of this uh so so please subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe to this channel if you're here to subscribe and also as like smash the like button share our videos with your friends so that they can be alerted you can so that they can they can benefit from this video all right share your videos share the videos with your friends so that they can benefit want to help profit traders to get want to help more forest traders to become profitable so now you this is another example another example there was a bullish move there was a correctional phase break of structure and you have this uh this uh sale all right so there was a break of structure right here and there was uh there was a break of structure right here return to other block happen here and you see how the market the market actually the market actually sold all right so uh, this is very 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 interesting so very very interesting so you don't actually have to wait you don't actually have to wait for this move you don't have to wait. some people would want to take this first move which could happen in in uh, in the uh, in, in a multi-directional it can happen in a buy or sell but this is one method the straddle this is a straddle method this is one method but this is a safer method you can actually blow your account by trading this trading the first move of a high impact market news release but the safest way is to the safest way is to wait for the correctional phase and trade this this is the safest way to trade it all right as a smart money trader as a demand and supply trader all right so now let us see if we can have another example let's see if we have another example so that is basically it that's basically it. that's basically it so i hope you really understood some i hope you really benefited from this I hope you benefited from this video. I hope you learned one or two things from this video. So I know that from henceforth you should you'll be making more money trading the high impact market news release. You will not be more you'll not be afraid of tackling the high impact market news release. Just one way of trading high impact market news release. And I know I've made a previous video on how you can another strategy of trading the high impact market news release. I'll link that video in the description box of this video. All right. So uh, uh, if you are here to subscribe once again, please kindly subscribe to this channel and like our videos also turn on the notification bell so that you can be alerted when i make new videos turn on the notification bell so that you can be alerted when i make new videos all right more useful contents i have a lot i've had good i've had good knowledge on the forest market and from my from my arsenal of strategies and arsenal of uh, of, of uh, knowledge i'm bringing out uh, i'm bringing out uh, these strategies and this information to you free so that you can benefit you can become a better trader and if you if you want to see how i trade you want me you want to get some shots free signals free chart signals from me i have a, a a telegram channel and the description the, the 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 link to the channel is in the description box of this video okay and also on the profile section of this youtube channel so just click uh cl click the link on the the description box of this video you're going to see the how to get into the telegram group so in the telegram group i share setups and which you can trade at your own discretion so also if you want me to mentor you one-on-one -on, -one on on the how to become a profitable trader want me to mentor you want to pass through my mentorship course is very very affordable just give me a shout up give me a, a shout contact me and my contact details is in our telegram group okay which the link is in the description box of this video all right so i want to wish you all the best in your trading career do not give up in trading do not give up in trading. All you just need is patience. With time, your trading career is going to become 
uh, profitable with time your trading career is going to become profitable all right do not give up just continue to practice continue to practice continue to show up every day at the market with taking small risk and over time you will get your foot you get your footing and you become you see that uh, the market the forest market can actually be a profitable way of making money so till i come your way next time do have a wonderful uh, day ahead thank you